let's kind of get started. It might sound silly to say, but starfish aren't fish. Heck, scientists are trying to change their common name to sea stars to help alleviate any confusion their fishy name may cause. But most people still say starfish, and their scientific name is out of this world. No matter what you call them, these marine creatures are echinoderms, just like the sand dollars we discussed a few episodes back. And there are a lot of different kinds of starfish. We found numbers anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 different species of starfish in our research. Species classification isn't always black and white, so we'll just have to settle for something around that. Starfish are only found in marine environments, but they can be seen in every ocean of the world. Yes, including the cold one, though they are the most diverse in tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific and Atlantic regions. Starfish get their common name from their typical star-shaped appearance, but not all starfish come with five points. Some starfish can have as many as 40 arms. The smallest starfish are less than an inch long, while the largest can be nearly three feet in length. And they don't even have a head or blood, though they do sort of have eyes. Starfish have what's called a water vascular system instead of blood and blood vessels. A starfish will pump water through its body, and this is what helps the starfish eat and even move around. Starfish have tube feet that either end in suction cups, which adhere to hard surfaces, or points, which help them traverse a sandy landscape. They'll live anywhere from intertidal zones to the abyss, and where they live can affect what they eat. In many areas, starfish are some top predators. Take the crown of thorn starfish, who ravages a coral colony, as an example. Humans have actually developed robots to attack these starfish in order to protect the very reefs they destroy. Other starfish may pull apart clamshells to eat the soft creature inside. Yep, according to starfish logic, you're not even safe in your own home. Some starfish push their stomach outside of their body and engulf their prey with it. They then let off digestive fluids that help break down a prey item until it is jello-y enough to be pulled back into their body along with the stomach. Oh yeah, you thought they were cute? More like super scary psycho flesh-eating monsters. Okay, well they're kind of cute though. For the most part, adult starfish are safe from predation. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not sure I could get past that crunchiness. Also, I don't eat animals, so there's that too. Baby starfish, however, can be at risk. Many starfish breed by spawning, with males and females synchronously releasing sperm and eggs into the water column. The fertilized eggs develop into larvae, which float as easy-to-eat zooplankton until they're developed enough to sink to the bottom, at which point they may live up to 35 years. All of this is depending on the species, of course. Some starfish can also regenerate lost limbs, or even clone themselves via a lost limb, though usually the center disc needs to be present for this to occur. Starfish can do this regeneration because many of their organs are actually in their arms. I know Chester would happily have some organs in his arms if it meant more space.